Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video I'll be going over how to set up a giveaway and how I use it for picking random viewers. If you need just to pick a random viewer to play games with or give prizes to chat, there's many ways you can use the giveaway system in Stream Elements. I'll be going over a few ways I use it and how to set it up. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. First things first, let's go over to Stream Elements and log in with our Twitch. From here on the left side, you can go down until you see the loyalty. We want to just give that a tap to expand the tab. All right, at the very top, it is going to say giveaways. We're just going to click on this here to go to the main page. Right away, you will be prompted to create a giveaway. First thing, this page loads up. Here we'll have a few options like the title, description, image if you have one, but it's definitely not needed. And three checkbox options. These are very important, even though they may not look it. Okay, so the first option up here in the title, we're just going to name this one here, play with random viewer. And the description is one game or 20 minutes of gameplay. So that'd be like one game, one match or 20 minutes. So if you die off rip in Apex and it's only five minutes, we're going to be playing more games. I don't want to like leave anyone out. I don't want anyone to feel like, oh, we just had a bad round and only get their two minutes. So we're going to make this as fair as possible in this giveaway. I just do that because I love my viewers. They're, they're awesome people. You know what I mean? I want to make sure that they get the full 20 minutes or a game. So if the game is 20 minutes or almost 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you can you can make that. That's a decision you can make on your own. That's just something I find that I enjoy to do. And if I was in a giveaway, I would want to have a game or 20 minutes because if you die on landing like in a game like Apex or Call of Duty or something like that, there would be very, yeah, subpar. You wouldn't want that. And they'd be very discouraged to get into your next one. Okay, we don't have an image and this isn't needed, but you can set one of these custom images to anything you want so that you can have your own little look on the giveaway when they click on the giveaway page. But most people will never see it if they don't leave the chat. So this is not really needed and I don't even suggest bothering with it. Now the next three checkboxes are very important options. These determine how it's going to be used and how I use it. So like if you were doing the giveaway and you wanted everyone in your chat to take part but didn't want them to click the join, you can give everyone their first free ticket, which is kind of nice. So you'll get a free one for your first one that allows everyone to join even if they don't have any points. I find that a very awesome option to click that and I use it quite a bit, but it's not needed again. Now, the send confirmation of buying the ticket via chat, I like putting that in there to just so they know when they clicked enter that it worked and it went through and that they're in the draw. And this subscriber only, I would never check this. This is actually mean to the rest of your viewers. It's awful tough out there right now and to just to only allow your subscribers, like not everyone can get subscribed. A lot of people are chilling in chat, might not be old enough to subscribe or have the money to. So I think leaving this unchecked is fair to your, the rest of your chat and you don't wanna leave any of your viewers out. The next option is your ticket cost and maximum ticket number. I usually just do this, it depends on what you're doing. If you're just playing a game, and you want people to fight over uh, ticket cost 20 maximum one so if you don't have this here check marked like i don't right here just one this allows them to only enter the draw one time instead of a dozen times now if you want people to fight over who's going to play with you first you can like give your free ticket away put this to 10 if you feel like you can make your own iterations of this this is just how i use it and what i do with it so the cost of 20 and the maximum ticket of one because i only want each person to buy one ticket that would change if i was doing maybe a giveaway and i wanted my most the chat that's there the most to be able to get the most of them and then i would put the cost up per ticket to like a thousand and then let them buy more than one. So then it's going to be the people that are there viewing the most that are going to be able to get the most tickets and not necessarily the people that have been subscribed the longest and never in chat. So keep that in mind. I like the people in my chat to benefit from it the most, not necessarily my subscribers or donos or things like that. I don't find that's important to me. I just want my viewers and my community to have a good time. So if you make it a certain way, it'll be on fun for them. And I just find having one ticket per user only letting them join once is a good way to do it but the other way is to let them spend a lot of their points on tickets and have a lot of tickets so then it's always the people that are there the most that are benefiting from it which i think is kind of fair the next option is subscriber luck i don't turn this on at all because this here then makes it unfair to everyone else in chat you might have someone in chat that's never subscribed but has the most watch time and has the most points to buy the tickets and 
they lose because subscriber luck is up. So I don't believe in turning this on at all. I leave it at a zero and I actually suggest everyone leaves it at a zero. This makes it very unfair to anyone that can't afford it. It's it's tough days out there that everyone can afford to have a subscribe subscription. So keep it fair, leave it at a zero. I definitely suggest that for most giveaways. And after that, we can just click the start. But before I do, there is other giveaways up here where you can draw winners, you can delete, reopen, and do them. So you can reuse these ones here by just copy pasting their stuff. But for this example, we're just gonna start and create a new one. Okay, once you click the start, it's gonna bring you to this uh, page that'll tell you your information about your giveaway, the play with random viewers, how much time is going, how many tickets are bought, how many entries, the purchases, and who entered it. Also, in your chat, when you do it, it's gonna give you a shout out and say a giveaway has started, play with random viewers. So if you were gonna just do this here, giveaway it, i know it's called a giveaway but it's for this is play with random viewers and this does pick a random viewer from chat that joins so i i like this for a lot of things any winning system i find this great for okay so after it shoots this here in chat it does let you know that you can do exclamation mark ticket one to buy one ticket a ticket costs 20 points that's perfect it'll let you know everything that you need to know in here now there is a couple other commands that you can use one is exclamation mark giveaway this is going to just give out your information and the link that will go to your main page. When you click on that, it will go to what they can see if they need to see it. But most people will never see this page and they probably will never leave the chat because there is chat commands to enter it as well. So if you exclamation mark point enter, it will say you successfully bought one ticket. Perfect. And my first one was free. I, I did that because I enjoy it. And when you go back to your page that shows you your giveaway, you'll be able to see your user's name showed up and that I bought one ticket. Now you can let this go depending on how if you're running it for five minutes to pick somebody to play with each time. This is a great system for that because they have to join each time. So people that are active in chat will be able to join really quick and you can end it just right away. They're super fast and easy to set up. And I like them quite a bit for especially playing with viewers or giving things away to chat. This is super easy, super basic, and that's it. That's all there is to it. All you have to do is just run the giveaway and just run it for whatever you want. Doesn't necessarily have to be giving anything away. I'm letting my viewers just win some playtime with me. A couple other commands that you can actually use here before I forget are contest, enter, ticket, contest, and giveaway are the commands that I know that work. There might be other ones but I'm not really sure. That'll be something I'll have to look into later on. Those are the only ones that you actually need and if you don't have it shoot new chat you won't get this in here. So when you're setting up at the very basic part of it that checkbox that makes sure that it says it in chat is very important. That's how you know it's working. I definitely suggest leaving that check mark because this it might look ugly in chat, but it does let you know that it's working. If you click on the link that it shows in chat, it lets you know all of the information about yourself, the subscribe, how long it's been going, the entry, the time, and this is where you can actually enter the giveaway and buy another ticket. So for people that actually leave the Twitch chat, they'll be able to see this here page. They'll be able to see what you get, your points, and how much you have of stuff. Now, if you're a moderator and don't have any points to test this, you may have to give yourself points. I had to actually exclamation point add points ZN solo 101 700 so I had to give myself points to join so if you make it so that it costs money you as the channel owner does not have points even though you do have an unlimited amount of points it ignores you so you might not be able to test it if you don't have points if you run across that just exclamation mark add points space your name space the points and you'll give yourself enough points to at least test it a couple times so i definitely suggest doing that as well all right back to the giveaway page here we're going to close this one here you can't you have to actually go to the giveaway page inside your stream elements to be able to do the rest of this now after you're all done and everyone in chats made the decision to pick a winner you have to close the giveaway after you close the giveaway it'll give you the refund so if nobody if you, they didn't win or something happened and you had to end it for reasons, you can refund all the points they spent or you can draw a winner. And when you click the draw a winner, it'll pick out of the list one random viewer. And there you go. There's a random viewer picker. It does not have to give anything away. If you just need it to pick a random viewer, you're done. You can just do this, let them enter in your Twitch chat, and then just, there you go. The giveaway is complete. So 
on the same note, when you draw the winner and it comes up, you want to mark the giveaway as complete if you're picking that person. If the person picked here is not in chat, you can draw another winner over and over and over again, and it'll pick from the list over and over and over again. I really like that feature. I super enjoy using it, and it's very easy and basic. This year page doesn't lead you around a whole bunch of crazy information, and it doesn't look very confusing. So that's a bonus for Stream Elements doing a great job on this year part. And we're going to mark it as complete for this example, so I can show you the rest of the process. It's marked as complete. You won't be able to draw anymore. That's perfect. Mark as complete. Now, if you don't mark it as complete and you just go on and just pick this here name, when you go back into your giveaways, it is going to show up on this here side here as complete it. So you can check your results. And my first test one, I never ever finished it. So you would be able to draw another winner later on over and over and over and over and over again, which is not really good. You should probably delete it if you, if you run into this, if you've already picked your winner. But that's all there is to it. Um, besides finding really cool ways to use it, on the same note, if you have any cool ways that you use it for, you can definitely leave it in the comments below. I'd love to hear how you use your create a giveaway, whether you use it for actual giveaways or like I do, just for picking random viewers. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. But that's everything there is to it. If you think I forgot or left something out, definitely leave it in the comments below. And if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.